Nice, nice emote usage, Iowa. Severo also using the the proper emote. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, Severo is also in Romania, in in the Navajo, on FS Economy. Hope you're making some good money. I also installed. You guys can't see it very well because I'm running 4K now, but right here is the uh, FS Economy shortcut. Uh, Lua, sorry, it's not the shortcut, but Lua script. So I think this thing lets me know whether or not, well, I'm logged in. Um, I think it might auto start FS Economy for me, but I'm, I'm not sure. You don't need Orbex XP ground is stunning as it is that, and that's coming from a long term P3D pilot. Yeah, I, I, I ran, I ran P3D, um, version four. Or sorry, version 3.2 Soundman. And then like you, I converted in October of 2015. And I, I spent a lot of time in, in P3D. But uh, then we found the Ortholite. The Ortholite. Wait, where did you get the shortcut from? Uh, it's not a shortcut, sorry. It's a, it's a Lua script. Um, and it's a fly with Lua script that might automatically start my flight... Uh, once I leave the ground, I, I I know if I hit login, it's obviously a small it's a small little window reminder, and I can't remember where I got it. I'm wondering if I put it in the. Uh, I wonder if I put a shortcut to it. I don't think I did. So. Let's see if I can search for it. Uh, FS economy uh, Lua script. Hey, farmer medic. Good morning. Uh, I think this is it here. I think no. Is this it? No, that's 20. I mean, that could be possibly it. There we go. There we go. Sparrow's got it. Thank you, Sparrow. Appreciate that. Yes, I think that's it. Yep. If I open that URL. Yep, that's it. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to click on instructions and discussion. No, where do you where do you click on the link for that Lua script though? Download. Airports. I don't see the uh, link for the dot for the uh, plugin, but. All right, so let's uh, let's get the plane started here. Uh, we're gonna remove that. We'll come back down here. Parking brake is set, I believe. Yep, parking brake right down there. So parking brake is set. We'll turn on the battery. And uh, we'll arm the uh, right engine. Um, hungover is going to load up the Eclipse. And... 757 Spy, hello from the Spy Flight heading to Iceland from Boston. So we're here for some in-flight entertainment. Well, let's see. Well, then we got to do. Uh, I, I don't know if you uh, are still out, but let's 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 tune into the 757 spy fly for a moment. And, to, uh, oh, so here we go. Uh, Pre-flight entertainment. And I don't see much there the <laughs> let's see. Let's type in There's all. Of course, we got to do the. Uh, Canada, but I think where is it? There it is. See if he, he probably tuned out because we didn't see his chat message. We'll so yeah, I think, I think, I think seven five seven spy is flying to, um, Iceland. I think. His name's Dave. Let's see if he. 
much, I guess. Pre-flight entertainment. So, yeah, you were right, Cloud Cities. Probably not much help from the winds, but it doesn't look like it's going to be quite as strong as uh, down here in this area. So, um, let's go back to John Flies. <laughs> just a second. <laughs> now, that we're, now that we're done checking out the winds. Okay, we, we're going to do... This is Inception. Okay, so now <laughs> what we have going here is John Fly is watching me. I'm watching John Fly. <laughs> At some point, we're going to get this loop going on here. <laughs> yes, exception. That's what we got going on here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dave. Good morning. I needed I, I needed to put some Baileys in my coffee. This is a major inception. It's going way back. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dave. Good morning. I needed, I, I needed to put some Baileys in my coffee. <laughs> you, you did need some Baileys this morning. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. This is a major inception. It's going way back. <laughs> okay, let's start the engine here. Um, all right, it's going to come down to the throttle quadrant. Yeah, Lima 71, hungover pilot, yep. And also, uh, yeah, I had to rebuy it, sound man, yep, had to rebuy it. Uh, he's going from Boston to Iceland. Well, have a good time, Dave, and 757 Spy crew, enjoy the flight. It's it's a flight sim nightmare. There you go. <laughs> Just looked into the X economy zip. The Lewis script is inside the package. Okay, thank you, Sparrow. Tearing Tearing holes in time and space. Exactly, exactly. Okay, one thing you got to make sure is on the 1900, your full fuel is in the cutoff position until you get to, I believe, 12% on your um, turbine RPM. Um, let's do it. All right, we're going to hit the right engine. We're going to hold it down until we get up to 12% over there. It The John Fly logo is, is covering it, but I'll get up to 12 percent and then I'll add fuel there's fuel flow I'm just gonna go up to the low idle position and then as you can see up here that's what we're looking for for the 12 percent but obviously the logo was was touching it we can turn off the master caution and let's do uh, We'll turn on the right gen. We'll turn off the ignition. AC bus can come on, I think. Wish Totorico was here. Um, all right, so now we're going to watch the left side. So we'll arm the ignition, and we'll go left up to 12%. Well, actually, we've already added low idle, so it should kick in after automatically. Now, this is a... There we go. Let's go outside and make sure everything is working. All right, you have a fun flight too. We'll check back a few times. Happy landings. Thank you, Dave. Oh, there's the eclipse. I think that's JT. Is that JT Kerr or no? Is that uh, is that uh, hungover pilot? I think that's hungover. Yeah, I believe, I believe that's hung over. Yeah, there you go. There's That's a high-definition CSL. Okay, so now what I'm about to... Sh oh, I need to back off the microphone here. Hold on. Because I keep redlining. Let's go up here to properties. Uh, filters. I wonder if I can go negative gain. Let's just, let's just pull that back a bit here. Test one, two, test one, two. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, how do I do I sound okay still just just let me know if I sound okay still you're showing up as a bonanza uh oh well hungover pilot do you have the latest CSLs installed uh, I guess the bluebell CSLs maybe would be would show the b1900 maybe I'm in the b1900 that is portrayed as a b58 okay flying jackal how you doing sir good to see you um, Gotta give. I gotta rock a Fly J Sim chair, or three. 
Thank you, Flying Jackal, for joining us. Hope you're well. So, in fact, Flying Jackal, I'm going to show you something. Hold on. I got something for you. Hold on. Now, we, we, all, we all don't know when the 737-200 is going to be, the version 2 is going to be released. But when it does get released, I'm going to give away this. This is Alaska Airlines 737-200 DVD. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that away on the day that we celebrate uh, the 737-200 release. So, there you go. You got... You may be missing something. I got a CSL a couple of days ago. There you go. Watches in anticipation. That's right. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys a very important step that I learned yesterday. Um, someone was it you, JT Kerr? Yeah, it was JT Kerr. Taught me that um, the B1900 and also the Caravan are not in alignment with regards to the. Well, when you're on a, a like a 210 heading, your autopilot's on like a 250 heading, so it's off by like 40 degrees. It will be here soon. Soon. Awesome. I look forward to uh, the release. I also look forward to. I, I I did some. You know, I did. I was on the beta team for the uh, the other plane, <laughs> so maybe I can beta play with the 732. Oh, there's someone taking off. I don't know if that's a drone or if that's someone real. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to fix that problem here. Up here it says the directional gyro is not aligned with the magnetic north. Adjust the directional gyro to the magnetic course to get an accurate indication of your direction of flight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the ignition, turn on the left gen, turn on the left AC bus. I'll turn on avionics. And then I'm going to come up here. You guys see this little this little guy right here? This thing with the slew? I don't know what you call this. Gyro slaving? I don't know. But I'm going to hit this DG button, right? Now that I've hit that DG button, our comp our uh, GPS and our heading autopilot and everything is going to be synced up correctly. So that's a new thing with public beta 8, I believe. So Flying Jackal is biased, yeah. In your opinion, what's the best feature, rich and most realistic plane for X.11? Uh, Ecclejita. Uh, if you put in uh, exclamation top 30, th those are the top. That's the top aircraft, uh, both um, GA and jet. And yeah, w yeah, the 732 V2 is going to be awesome. Hello, Padawan. Uh, there's a thread about the problems. Yep, there's a thread. Uh, no Joe from Thranda has mentioned a change in the ACF files for these planes. Okay. Okay, let's get going. Uh, I'm going to turn on the EFIS. So, EFIS power coming on. These guys have been patiently waiting for me. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn the, the uh, pitot heat on. Uh, auto feather armed and oh uh, I'm going to turn the environmentals on and rudder boost on I think we're ready to go I'll go ahead and dial in um, let's click on uh, this is really small when I'm running 4k huh so I'll make it larger for you guys Whoop. <laughs> uh, let's go uh, Light plan direct. K S N A. Okay, that's activated. We're just doing direct because by the time we get there, pilot edge actually might be open. It's 825 now. JT Kerr, hungover pilot, and whoever else may be on the ground with us. There's uh, JT Kerr in his B1900. There's Hungover Pilot in his Eclipse. I'm going to go ahead and release parking brake. Good morning, DMB Bird. Should have picked something slower to start than the Eclipse. Well, you can bring her back or bring back that throttle. Good morning, Stork Man.
Okay, let's bring it out this way. I don't know if you guys are ready to go. I can wait if you're not ready, but... Oh, looks like uh, JT Kerr's moving. Now, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to click the log in button down here on this little tiny icon. And there's the start flight button. Will it do it automatically, though, is the question. It says I'm on the ground. I wonder if it... I wonder, Svaro, do you know when I lift off, will that thing automatically start? It's red now. Is it just giving me a visual indication to start the flight manually, or will it do it automatically? Oh, yeah, we got three behind us. I don't know why you don't, why there's not a 1900 CSL. You do have to press it. Oh, okay. You do have to press it. Okay, so it just it's like a visual reminder, huh? Okay. All right, we'll do that now. Start the flight. The flight has been started. 600 gallons of fuel, seven assignments loaded. Bacon, hello. I should have seen it. Are you sure it doesn't do it automatically? You have to you have to press it. Okay, go hex now. What does the 1900 look like on PE? Uh, it looks like a Baron, right now. It looks like a it looks like a a Baron. I don't know if you guys JT Kerr or hung hung over. I don't know if you guys have weather on or not, but I'm doing some ortho recon, so I have the Cavic. So I don't know if this is the most ideal runway for you guys as far as winds are concerned but uh, pat dog hello yeah we can do a formation takeoff you want to come up alongside me or is there not enough room there might not be enough room I'll come over here to see if anyone comes up alongside me uh oh better stay on the pavement though Yeah, there you go. Come up alongside. <laughs> Don't hit my plane. Do not hit my plane. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's come in here. Let's go to the overhead. Turn on some lights, landing lights. Navigation lights on, beacon, strobe. We'll do a no flaps, uh, one notch of flaps. Let's uh, squawk altitude. It's not moving very much. Turn transponder on. Transponder on. Set transponder on. Transponder is on. Set transponder four three two seven. Transponder set to four three two seven. I can't tell what notch it's on. Seems like that's standby. Oh, there we go. Scroll works. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I had to change the leave. Frames are gone. Yeah, the CSLs maybe. Copilot kind of def. Yeah, exactly. Okay, two. Just one more minute. I'm, I forgot to do one thing.
Okay, ready to go. Here we go. Loading, don't wait. Okay. Need to take off that warning. Yeah, I, I can I can wait. No rush. We're probably gonna hit John Wayne when it's like open. All right, I need to prop sync this. I think, but not on takeoff. I'll do it afterwards. All right, let's go full fuel condition lever. Full. Here we go. Let's turn the master caution off. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we got positive rate. We'll do gear up. They're on the move. And we're turning crosswind. We got November 925 November Golf. We do have a little bit of traffic I'm showing on four flight. Looks like JT Kerr's on the roll. Hey Maverick, how you doing? All right, I'm gonna trim this up. Now we're gonna go uh, autopilot on. Sync up my heading bug. We'll go heading. Oops, hold on, hold on. Sync up my heading bug. And then we'll come up here and we'll go autopilot. And we'll go autopilot on. Yaw damper on, heading. We'll actually change the GPS to GPS and we'll go nav. Nav. We'll go vertical speed. Oh, this actually has IAS. That's interesting. Uh, we'll climb out at uh, 180. So I'm going to rotate my SciTech panel to climb out at 180. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize this had I IAS. I don't know why I never noticed that before. But now we're in IAS mode and my SciTech panel is uh, set to 180. Crossing the pond. Oh, you're going to Iceland. Did you start off in uh, in Boston, Maverick? I gotta keep track of the time. All right, we're going up to. I'm just looking here at terrain. I think we'll go up to. Actually, I'm gonna sync up this and go direct, activate. Um. I think we don't need to fire all this anymore. Uh, do you guys think this is easterly or westerly? It's probably just slightly east, but I can't tell. Um, if I look at the nav log, it's 163 degrees. So that would be, I'm gonna go at a VFR altitude. I'll go at 13.5. Uh, Set altitude 13,000. Altitude 13,000 feet. And then I'm going to slowly go up to 500 feet above that. Yeah, Mr. X Boston. I need to go to Mr. X Boston. That'd be pretty fun. 13,5. All right, we're set to 13,5 on our altitude now. I was using the SciTech panel there. As you can see here, it's set to 13,5. And then I'm also going to come over here onto the GPS panel. I'm going to hit Altitude Select. 
and that'll make sure that I my, the plane stops at 13.5. So that will be good. Let's see if the eclipse is caught up to me. Are you near me, hungover? JT Kerr is somewhere behind me. I don't see anyone. Oh, I can see. I can see. Uh, I can see JT Kerr, or sorry, hungover pilot on. I believe you're hungover. Are you November nine two five November Golf? I'll bring up the four flat so you guys can see the uh, the TCAS here. Mr. Amram, how you doing? You changed your name? There you go. Because <laughs> we were getting mixed up. <laughs> All right, I'm just... So over here on the four flight screen... On four flight, you can see... So there's... November 5... 925 November Golf. They're right behind me. JT Kerr, I think, is further back, so it's not showing up on the uh, on the four flight. But that's pretty cool. The pilot edge feeds the uh, the four flight. Uh, as you can see here, we're, we started here at Lima 71, and we're going down to uh, to John Wayne. And pilot edge opens up in uh, 24 minutes. So looks like we're now set at our cruise. I need, to, I need to reposition my forefly here on the screen a little bit there. It's a little bit big there. There we go. There we go. Now we can see all of it. Okay, we're at 13.5 now. Uh, our fuel flow is quite high. So I'm going to come back. I'm thinking that my fuel flow should maybe be around 5 hundred pounds per hour is that right uh, we're cruising at 268 right now yeah we were thinking you were a troll but no you'd had that name for a while huh your 15 minutes of fame <laughs> I'll give you a half hour I had some major lag on takeoff so I'm behind a little bit oh okay uh, wondering if you are heading west or east or flying direct. Compass heading may be a nice tool. That's true. But I guess I was going off the original. Compass shows that we are... I can't tell there. Our heading right now is 162. guess we're just barely on the east side at 160 but then again the magnetic offset I don't know the other question is is when PE comes on if we haven't landed yet should I pick up flight following or should I do an IFR clearance uh, my cruise speed 264 cruise speed is 264 right now Exclamation flip. There you go. Feel free to fly right past me. Hung over. I thought PE went back an hour because of no more daylight savings. Uh, right. PE always opens up at um, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific, Pacific time. And right now it's uh, 7:41 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, and it did change. Yeah, it flipped a few a little while ago.
just coming over that. What is the name of that mountain range right there? I forget what it is. Is this the X-Plane public beta or the stable one? Uh, people, this is uh, this is public beta 8. Public beta 8, yeah. Uh, JT Kerr, what, what, uh, what CPU do you have and what video card? I'm getting good frames right now. Everything seems to be... Relative.